Hi, it's Professor Shoemaker, and this is the first video in the course of using MySQL for uh, SQL databases. This is going to be a quick tour of the MySQL screen. So, I've got it open here. I'm on a Windows computer, and at the top are the usual file edit, uh, those kinds of menu items that you're used to seeing. Here's a toolbar, which we'll get more into later. And then the rest of the screen is down in this area, and it's divided into several different panels. The panel in this in this area here that's kind of grayed out is where we'll actually be doing most of our work later when we bring up SQL files to work with and so on. The panel on the left is what's called the schema window, and it has a list of the databases available on this particular server. So there's the AP, college, and so on uh, that happen to be on this server. In this course, we'll be using the starter database and the college database as well. You can close these panels with the buttons over here. So uh, with that button, I can shut that panel off. Down here in this bottom section of the screen is called the output area. And this is where results uh, from some of our query and other operations will go. That one can be closed here. Normally, I leave the screen looking just like this, with the big panel in the middle and the schema on the left and the output on the bottom. In addition, if you want to change fonts and so on, up here on the edit menu is a preferences item. And inside this, you get uh, things like uh, the query editor. You can say uh, uppercase on completion and so on. In MySQL, where is it? Appearance down here. Uh, you can choose different font sizes and colors and so on to set up the way that uh, you seem comfortable. So that's it for this first video, which is just a very brief tour of the layout of the MySQL screen.